NHL Super Agent Taylor Mackey joins us here on the line who represents the hottest, most anticipated prospect in years. Taylor, give us some 411 on the kid here. Hey, morning, James. Well, look, you may not believe this, but the kid's up here on Carter Lake. What? Playing pickup, yeah, with a bunch of other kids. Just, it's a beautiful day. Pricey pond hockey you got going there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose it is. But look, that's how much this kid loves the game, man. Well, just safety first up there. Now, of course. I, I got to ask you, we, we've seen the scouting reports, we've seen the highlights, but we know about the player. But tell me more about the person. What's this rookie really like? Yeah, sure, James. Uh, let's begin by telling your listeners at home the kid's name.
better to talk about the upcoming Memorial Cup than a guy who's actually hoisted the trophy, Ray Ferraro. Does that conjure up some memories there for you? Yeah, you bet it does. What a what an awesome time in your career. You, it's the most important games that you've played in your life, really, until that time. And now for most of these players, it, it'll be the biggest games they ever play. But there's also NHL scouts here. There's draft rankings on the line. This is a fantastic tournament to play in. 1983 has been a few years. Do you still remember the moment, though? I do, because it turned out, uh, as it turned out, rather, that's the only tournament we ever won. The only one <laughs> I was ever on the winning side of. Well, let's look at this year's edition, because one of, this, one of the players that a lot of people... We are getting closer to puck drop for this Memorial Cup in game one here. We bring Ray Ferraro back into the fold, and boy, the scout cams should be on full display tonight, won't they? Yeah, there'll be a bunch of people wearing black jackets. That's what the scouts wear, and they'll be sitting up in the corners of the rink watching these players really closely. Now, they've got a book pretty much on every player by this point in the season, but these are critical games to watch how they'll play against the very best competition. This absolutely will help determine where a player will go in the draft. Oh, I'm sure they're playing in those bright lights, and how do you respond? And You know, one of the other players that a lot of people have been talking about You lift me up, you bring me down, you make our whole world go around. We put our time and faith in you, we may waver but you never do, your good as gold, your right is red. You Lots of hockey left to be played in this period, we're still scoreless. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Off a stick and they can't connect. Regina's moving it into the offensive end. He scores! That's how you do it! Leadership to a T! The captain capitalizes! Whoa, James, while we're looking at this highlight, the coach is sour that they gave up this man advantage break. But it's beautifully executed and it's in the net. Really good backhand shot here. He got into the low slot. 
and really tough for the goalie to read where that puck's going. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Regina's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Takes the feed from the left side. Great defensive effort with the stick. The Greyhounds to play the puck from behind the net. Sault Ste. Marie's got possession of the puck. The Greyhounds take it across the line. Big time stop there. Takes the pass. And now it's grabbed by Denomi. And that's turned aside by Birkin. Sault Ste. Marie's got the puck. Handles the puck. Big save in front. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Regina's got the puck in their own end. From the right side, takes the pass. Turn that chance aside. Quick pass to Karens. Sault Ste. Marie's got it along the wall. Takes a shot. Takes it right in the chest. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Nearing the midway mark of the period. We've got a 2-0 game here tonight. The Greyhounds have it now. Takes the feed. Standing by our own Carlin Bays with all the latest. Thanks so much, James. You know, the rookie is playing in his very first Memorial Cup, and the hype around social media is real. They're calling him a game changer for whatever team gets him. Yeah, a lot of buzz about him as play continues here. And that pass can't connect. Quick feed to Massier. Shot on net, turns it away. Uh, he's gonna, hey, usually the whistle is gonna stop the play. I guess not tonight. Wadrow's turning this challenge down. That's not part of his game. The rookie's been a big part of this dominating portion of the game. They've been all over the opposition and the coach is reminding them, don't take a step back, keep pushing the pace. They've been like a pack of Wolverines out there on the ice to this point. More than half the frame has been played here. Regina's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Sends a pass over. A shot. Puts it in for the hat trick. You gotta finish him off. The chances are there, but you still gotta put him away. It's a great play, and now we can celebrate it three goal night. Now, would you ever wear one of those chapeaus? Not a night? chance. Would you wear <laughs> someone else's hat? Absolutely not. While we have a moment, let's get back down to Ray Ferraro between the benches. Well, you can always tell when you've done a good job if the coach gives you a quick tap on the shoulder. The rookie has played really well and has responded to what the coach has wanted from him tonight. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Forced to regroup. Moves the puck. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. The Greyhounds take possession in the defensive end. Takes a shot. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Stays with it. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Wicked stop by the goalie who got his glove out to knock it away. Here's a short pass to Denomi. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Kalisti's moving the puck through his own zone. And they send it right back to him. Mackey's picking up steam. Sault Ste. Marie's got the puck against the boards. Nothing! He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Past the midway mark in this period, Regina's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. 
Oh, look at this chance. Late goings of this period. 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. The Pats will go to work here in the offensive zone. the goalie, hits the pipe, he gets a nice bounce and it's in the net. He didn't even have to raise this, James. After he made the deep, he was able to slide it in the low part of the net. Teams are lined up and we are ready to take this draw. Rich Shinas got a hold of the puck off the draw. Takes it into the slot. Oh, what a stop with the paddle! Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Sault Ste. Marie's got it in the defensive zone. Look out! And they won't connect on that one. They're gonna go! James, you lay a hit like that on a star, there's going to be somebody that's going to come after you, and that's exactly what's happened here. Down he goes, fairly one-sided, would you say? Yeah, I've been on the other side of that one side, and you're happy when it goes down to the ice because you know help is on the way. Story of my life in elementary school, right? Both teams lined up in the face-off circle after the ice was finally decluttered moments ago. And with the buzzer, that puts a bow on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next, right here. We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. Angles it over to Massier. Makes a move in front! And that shot gets caught in traffic. That eyes him on the play! Picked up along the wall by Denomi. Puck grab by Leguerrier. Things start to get a little physical out there. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Sends the pass over. Moves it around along the half wall. Hangs onto the puck. Well, he's calling him out now. Yeah, after the teammate got hurt, he jumped right in. He's going to make him try and pay a price. We got ourselves a fight here. Nice, effective use of the wrestling move. Yeah, you don't see that all the time, but this fight had punched itself out. I didn't do this very often, but I was always pretty happy to get to the safety of the penalty box and sit down. Quick pass over to Denomi. And a stiff break setup. Great stretch passes and connects. Wrestling in close. Scores! The captain comes through. One, two, three, four. Absolutely phenomenal performance. And here to talk a little more about what we saw on the ice is Ray Ferraro. And Razor, I mean, what does that do for his draft stock? Oh, man, it'll uh, it'll put a rocket to it. If he continues to play in this tournament like that, the scouts are going to get more and more interested. Also, a little more jittery as they might have had a player slotted in a certain area of the draft. He plays like that. He's going to jump a couple of spots in the draft for sure. This is really an important start to the tournament for him. Yeah, and this is where kind of all of a sudden the, the, the stocks kind of rise and fall here, right?
As we bring Ray Ferraro back into the show, how are you, sir? All good. Awesome. All good. Uh, you know, we've talked so much about kind of the, the draft rankings. Uh, what do you make of the kids so far here in this tournament? Well, it's uh, it's an interesting time for a kid going into, uh, you know, into his draft that he now knows is just a, a month or so away. I, I think he's played well enough that his draft stock's probably climbed a little bit. It puts himself into into the position to be a higher selection in the draft. I, I would say upper end of the first